Welcome back to Super Mario Brothers Wonder. So we are preparing for Bowser's epic wonder. But before we do that... I could have just gone backwards. Mm. We have business here. Uh, we have standees to buy, which I didn't do off screen because I'm dumb. But also, it'll give you a chance to see what's going on. <gasps> I was gonna ask, but then you were like starting up, and I was like, mm, let's just let him start up. Yeah, so I've already bought all of these, so these are the only ones left. There's um, the Yoshis, three of the Yoshis, and Nabbit. So, this one is random, but it can give you ones you already have. This one is specifically this character, and it is guaranteed one you do not have. So, the efficiency of this is, because this can be one you do already have, and it's encompassing of all characters, it is more efficient to use this one up until you are no longer getting a new standee every three uses, every three purchases, mm. which comes up to once you have two-thirds of the standees. Once you have two-thirds of the overall standees, it's more efficient to use these instead of these. Probability! And we, at this point, have far more than that. So, I'm gonna buy a couple of these. I don't know if I'm gonna buy all of red out. Yeah, I'll go ahead and buy all of red out. It's only, like, one more. Okay, so we've got a number of them. So at this point, there's two Yoshis and Nabbit. So there's three left to finish up. Probably, like, a third of each one. So it's probably gonna be, like, four left. Or whatever of each one. So... Four times three whoops, is eight, nine, ten, eleven, that's twelve times thirty is a hundred and twenty times three, which is three hundred and sixty. I could actually just buy the last of the standees right now. Approximately. Ta -da. But before we do that, because I want to make sure I have these in case we need them, we got to do this bad boy. The special level of special levels. The final test. Wonder Gauntlet. Oh, goodness. Are we just, like, do? Oh, we're doing, like... No, how are, gonna... how are there going to be so many different wonder effects, though? There's only two wonder seeds, which means there's only one... Uh, I'll find out. <laughs> Let's just count the horse's teeth. Let's get it over with. Hi. I mean, you choose. Yeah, I'm... I feel like for something like this... I maybe should have gone with Bubble instead. Whoa! Don't like that. Nope. It's getting all full. Oh, that was too fast. Now everything's falling. Now we can't. Okay, I guess we abandon him. Nope! I guess we have to go on without me. Oh, wait. That works. Oh, God, we gotta run. Quit sliding down the wall and just go. I'll make my own shortcut. 
Yeah, you guys keep doing you. I'm gonna go this way. What the crap are you doing? Madness. Trying to get us killed? You know, some days I just want to die crap. Well, you're up to you, buddy. I, up, I see it. Now I gotta wait for this guy. No, I don't have a flower anymore. Well, that works too. Mm. How much I like this. Crap! <laughs> Crap. Okay, this is the part I'm just gonna heck and die on. Because dodging through these things is a nightmare. Actually, no, you staying on the bottom one is considerably easier. I thought it was you, but close, thankfully we were close enough for it to not matter. So I did this way before I did the Bowser stuff, so I got this boat beforehand. Hmm. And I was like, huh. Oh crap, he can break our ship. Well, our ship can ah! Oh, that's it. Okay, I know it's up there now. Yeah. I was trying to get a Koopa shell to get it. Ah, oh, this is still such a pain. Oh, crap. Oh, it's a power-up. Ah, oh, this is still such a pain to go through this whole stage again, just to get back there. Especially when it's not enough. Yeah, and attacking me up. Forgot I had the drill power up again. Yeah, maybe drill isn't so bad. Can I drill on these guys? Oh heck yeah! Oh dang it! Come on! <laughs> How do we still get hit by these things? Wait. Dang it! I saw the pre-lightning and I saw the pre-lightning and was like, that's the lightning, right? They actually give you Christmas, me, yes. They give you way more time. Yeah, so this is the Yeah. Oh, that was I'm up here, so... Yeah, get it! It's all that matters! Oh, heck yeah. Oh, 
My thumb slipped off the deep end. Like, no, don't slip off mid-jump, I'm not gonna make it! <laughs> I lost track of everything, I was just jumping instinctually. I was like, am I on this platform? Yes, I think I see a mass of me, jump. <laughs> oh, yeah. Alright, All right. that was fun. Alright, that's the final world. You found all the Wonder Seeds, earning you a medal. That makes one. Heck yeah. There are... Five medals in this game? You found all the ten flower coins, earning you a medal. That makes two. You grabbed you grabbed the flag of every gold pole, earning you a medal. That makes three. So I'm gonna guess there's gonna be one for beat every stage, which is only all unlocks after we beat Bowser. Yeah, beat the game. And by every standee, which we have not yet done. No, we have not. I think you have to get all the badges. There's like six medals. I only remember seeing five on the uh, save screen. Then there might just be five, I don't know. Anyway, um... We did it. Cool. Next There's video. still no check mark. Yeah, I wonder what that means. Well, that one's because that's part of the Bowser stuff. Yeah, I mean, we got to go back here. All right, Bowser, let's do this while I'm tiny. Tiny Peach is an angry Peach. The final Bowser. Final battle. Bowser's rage stage. Start the clips. Here we go. Oh no, an angry Goomba. Two angry Goombas. What am I gonna do? Oh no, I'm Bowser Jr., baby. I don't mind him so much. Baby Bowser Jr. <laughs> Wait, you can do wonders too? How does that work? Yeah, when he's doing that in that kind of color scheme, you can do wonders. Whoa. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> he's also still kind of stupid. Yeah. <laughs> the prince, no. Oh, it's scrolling. Oh no! Split Goombas! Oh, I see you up there. No, you don't. Am I safe up here? No! Safe down here. Oh, that's crushing you. I'm gonna stay there. That's still crushing you. Oh, hey, it's you. Um, I may be fast. Oh, BS! No! Okay, now we come out, and now we actually have to pay attention to where the gap is. And we are officially smarter than any protagonist in Prometheus. What? This isn't so much of a fancy wonder as it is still just kind of all the wonders we've already seen. Hanging in there. Ah! Bowser! Hey, power up. Heck yeah. Possibly of the fire. I mean, you gotta have a musical number, it's the final stage.
Wait. Oh, it's floaty time. Yep. Don't like that. I mean, I guess. I'm glad you had a word bubble because that was just nonsense you just spoke. Like, I think we're on Japanese, but it was just like. Yeah, are we on Japanese? Japanese. I forget. Oh, hey, we're outside the castle. Is that a butt structure? Hey, Bowser, why'd you build a butt on your castle? I like butts. And I cannot lie. Okay, I mean, I can't fold. Uh, well, we are the other brothers, and we can't deny. Like, is it damaging? Oh, no, it's ah. special. Okay, I get it. There's also a graphic on the actual things. And it's on beat fours when you jump. That's right, Nintendo oh. hand bosses. Oh no, it's Andross! <laughs> oh no, we were so close to Venom. I mean, I'm glad becoming a castle made him want to compose music. Hold a concert. I mean, Dr. Eggman wants to make amusement parks and just wants to enslave Just likes amusement wildlife. parks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Look at his bricks jiggle. Jiggle bricks. Hey, I see a weak point. Oh man, he's working it. Got that one already. I wasn't paying attention. Why do I have a giant button on my underside? That's where his belly button was. Man, he's working it! Yeah! Do you notice the fire piranha plants are musical notes? Mm, yeah. I thought it was you, I'm glad I didn't get hit. A third hand? Oh, he split him. He split the stage! Different beats. That also means we can beat twice as often! Crap! <laughs> Both of us. Well, I'm trying to make sure you get this. Oh, I don't care. I've already played this game. Yeah, work it, Bowser! Yeah. 
Oh. Split it even more? Yep. Yes. How many hits you take? But it's a lot. What? Oh no, my exposed brain. Oh no, I have an exposed button. Okay. God dang it. Well, how you doing, Pastor? I was up there, and then one of those little green things knocked me friggin' all the way down. Yeah, I have to, I have to do it. Time for distraction. I was like right next to him. I seem to be missing a brain. <laughs> Man, new definition of brain fart. I'm gonna be honest, legitimately really cool fight. This is a really good boss fight. It did not need to be any longer than it was, but I wanted it to be longer because I was enjoying it. Oh. Let me suck all this back up. Wait, so Bowser only had one of them? What made him so strong? That's just Bowser. I had to get six more of the same thing! Oh, he also had to try Force of Power. Oh, okay, that makes sense. If you don't know it, but Bowser's actually Ganondorf from the far, far, far future. It actually is a weird thing, nobody knows about it, but Zelda is actually a prequel to Mario. Like, every game. You know, I'd believe that, actually. <laughs> And then Metroid's just the far, far future. <laughs> like, once you go from Mario to actually leaving the planet. <laughs> it's like, it's that whole, like, weirdness of if you were... Um, like, the idea that the Lord of the Rings, all the Tolkien work, actually takes place in our world, but it's like... Middle Earth is literally just the middle age of Earth. Mm. Not like the middle, middle age of Earth, just like there was an age before when they had their their uh, civilizations, and then the next yeah. stage was the Lord of the Rings stuff, and then the current stage is us. <laughs> Yeah, you get out of here. Crap. He's back. That would be better just to let him go. It's 
I know it's going to be a little hard to talk about it while this madness is happening. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Legitimately fun. Um, I can. Crap! I don't like this one. I can't. I can't get the stars. No! No! Well, it makes you feel better every time you get hit. It does take away from the points. Okay, killing your sorry boss won't be with you anymore. They keep coming back anyway. Oh, hey, look, it was our weather here a couple days ago. <laughs> Isn't snow just frozen? It's just the perfect temperature of frozen rain. Yeah, what is it? It's it's effectively rain. Well, kind of. It crisp. It's similar. Yeah, it's 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 not completely frozen. It's rain, but in only the loosest of sense. Like, it's still the precipitation of clouds. Yeah. Just rain is when it it gets dense enough to actually compress into drops. Uh, whereas snow is when it, A, is dense enough to, like, compress, but also, B, cold enough to crystallize in the air. So instead of compressing into uh, drops, it crystallizes into snowflakes in the air. Yeah. So that besides the game. Um, having trouble with thoughts. <laughs> it though is I kinda hard. Though weirdly enough, I can talk about rain. I'm just trying to get all the stars. Oh, slippery and sliding. Oh, isn't this where we fight Iggy? Kinda is, yeah. Yeah, no, super fun game. Super fun. Um, the whole way through, it's been enjoyable. Um, I can see why people um, called this, like, the next Super Mario World. That's what I called it. It was basically the, new super, the next Super Mario Brothers World. And I think the big thing with that is, oh, but Mario has done 2D... Because I've been thinking about this, and it's like, oh, <laughs> oh no, we're invincible, thank yeah. goodness. It's like Mario's done platformers before, though. What is it that makes Hydrogen this one sets. such? Like, what is it that makes this one like such a redefining of the 2D platformer? And I think for me, it's because at face value, you go, oh, the wonders, the wonders exist. That's the thing. If not for the wonders, it's just a regular platformer. But the thing is, it's not. Even without the wonders, they've done things differently in this game. I don't care about getting more. I'm kind of letting you be in front, and I'm just getting the ones you miss. <laughs> but I just want to get every star. That's all I really care about. Hooray! Yeah, it is a... Even without the wonder effect, as a gimmick for every stage, which Ooh, sorry. is really cool, I will say, because it adds ways to play the stage differently and oftentimes entirely different routes of something interesting they can do in the middle of a stage. So, A, the wonder effects are real cool. And not, again, not just because it's... Yeah, here's a fancy thing that does some weird, crazy effect. It, but it gives them a way to do something... different with the gameplay... Hey, there's Metal 4. Congrats on beating the game. You've earned a medal. That makes four. Oh, you're in control. Probably oh, because you got more points. Of course you haven't found yet. 
you courses you haven't found yet are now displayed as uh, on the courses screen. The Poplin Shop has new badges for sale. And that's why I didn't the want to spend too many. The final, final test badge marathon has appeared in the special world. <laughs> there aren't, by the way. We got the metal saying that. Yeah. We don't have to worry about cleanup no mores. And that is... Checkmark. We don't have a checkmark on any of them anymore. Well, it's because we got everything, so we have the metal. Uh, I think that was just for progress tracking, so it was just like, here you go, just remember. But regardless, we did get everything, so that's that. Um, gotta go to a shop. Yeah, gotta go to a shop. I don't want to go to that shop. It's not in this world shop either. They're all at the end. I don't know why I do this. Because you forget, and then you just kind of, like, never, you never remember. Until I'm halfway through the level listing. Yeah, and then you remember, and then you're like, oh, fuck, I should have done that. Okay, so there are four new badges for sale, and that is these four. Been wondering about the badges... ...that we've been missing. There are five of them over here. You can't get those five until post-game. Uh, these four become available in the shop. Dang it. Become available in the shop as soon as you're done. And they essentially just turn every power-up you get in a level into that power-up badge you're wearing. Oh, is See? that what they do? Change into drill form when you... Oh, yeah! Yep. Hello. Yeah, which is cool. I was thinking it was going to be the... I, th I was thinking it was going to be the auto super mushroom, but with the other power-ups. Nope. So you could just, like, just enter the stage with fire flower. Nope. It's... Instead, it doesn't matter what you get. It's fire flower now. Yeah, if a fire flower pops up, but you got the elephant power-up on, the elephant power-up is what you turn into. So, that's neat. And I feel like that's not really even that big of a game changer. As far as, like, making a level super easy or hard or whatever. It's interesting, for sure. And then there's one left here, which we cannot get yet. Because that one you get... For the special world. Now, I still have 392. I don't know if that's going to be enough, but we're going to find out. Like 360. Something. Oh, and also, once you get to end game, you can do this. If you're low on lives, you can spend 300 things and get 99 lives. I currently need these coins, though, in order to get the rest of the standees. But once I get the rest of the standees, I don't really have a use for these coins anymore, other than buying lives. Pretty much. Yeah, and it was approximate because I didn't actually know how many in here there were. Like so maybe I have enough, maybe I don't. Ten more to go, so... Oh, I can't bother mathing like that right now. You'll have, like, 20 coins left over, maybe. It's either 20 or 10 coins. Well, 22 or 12, because you have a, two extra coins in there. Okay, what is that? 4 times 30 is 48, 120? Oh, yeah, got enough. Off by enough. I have a good amount. That's a weird looking Goomba. Ah, 32. That was off. Through we probably like 310 when you did that last one. And that Yay. is all of the standees. Thanks for stopping by. And that's our medal. Earning you a medal. That makes five. 
So if there is... I don't... So that's five medals. I don't... If there is a sixth medal, there, it's the last one, and it's for getting all the badges. Which is this badge, which is for completing the super special awesome stage. So... That's gonna be its own little adventure. But as far as a wrap-up for this game, um, saying again, I think this game did a lot of really interesting, really in cool things. Um, so there's, as I was saying, the Wonder Seeds, which... The Wonder Seeds let them do something different with the level design in an interesting way. It's not just a, oh, funny things happen now. Because they use the level design, and level design is the key thing that I'm getting to with everything that I'm going to be saying about everything. <clears throat> is it let them come up with new, interesting level design ideas for segments that could either be an aside on a stage, or an alternate path on a stage, leading you to a different outcome, or just, in some situations, going over the stage as you did before, just with a different effect going on. It gave them different ways to handle the stage progression, as well as some more freedom with level design. On top of that, there's the badge system. Which, not only are there badges that make things easier if you want to run through the game with, say, the grappling vine or whatever, or as we were doing with the boosting spin jump, which is just a, hey, you're about to miss that jump, hold on a second button. But then there's also ones like the... Not the safety bounce. The fast dash. No, not that You're one. You're thinking of the yellow The floating ones. high jump, I think. Oh, floating high jump, sorry. No, it, I think it was actually this one, the jet run. Yeah, jet run. Where you get badges like this, where this would be a nightmare to play through a stage that wasn't specifically designed for it. But if you want to be challenged, there you go. And then the ones in the middle here don't necessarily... Well, they do make things easier. But not directly. Like, here's a sensor. So when you get near the coins, or you get coins if you jump with the beat, like, it makes things easier, but not in a direct way. So there's so much variety here in how you can do it and how you can modify your play. If anything, I feel like I want to be able to equip two of these. Because, like, okay, yeah, you could put on the boosting spin jump, so you get that jump, but, like, what if I also want to, like, get an auto mushroom at the start of stages? Or, I feel like if you did that, you'd just keep that equipped forever and not worry about being small. But, like, that's fine, too. And then, like, the add exclamation point block. Like, overall, it added so much variety to how you play through the stages. And that they had to design the stages and let themselves say they may do just break our intended playthrough design of this stage if they have this badge on. And be fine with that. Yeah. And it adds so much to how much so much control for the player in how they want to play through the game and how much variety that it lets the player have. So what we've seen now already between the Wonder Seeds is it gives them so much of a variety in how they can go about making the stage and giving us an interesting experience to play through. And then they've put also the reins in our own hands to add our own controlled variety to how we're going to play through the stage. Which means the game is... There is so much going on. And this is where the difference is compared to a prior game. And I will com I will directly compare to the new Super Mario Brothers games. Because the new Super Mario Brothers games are side-scrolling platformers, sure. But they don't do anything. Their level design is there. It exists. They have created a level for you to play through. And that is it. 
they have taken the idea that it is a platformer and we have given you a platforming challenge. Here is a letter. And where this game is different is very few levels felt like this is very strictly a platforming challenge for you to get through. And when it did, it felt like that's because of all of their different ways that they can handle level design, they just decided that this in particular is going to be what this one focuses on. The big thing is that it has made every single level its own experience. What do they want to do with this level? What experience do they want you to have in this level? And that's not necessarily a platforming challenge. It could be any kind of experience. In some of them, it could just be the thrill of seeing something weird. In something else, it could be giving you, throwing something completely off the wall at you, and that you needing to figure out your way around it. There are so many different ways that they handled that. And I think that's why this, to me, is the next Super Mario World. Did you also notice, I didn't want to interrupt you this, that the uh, the wonders barely repeated? There was barely any repeats among them? Yeah, there were. There were. Usually we saw each one two, maybe three times, but when we saw it a second time, they did something completely different with it. Like how the, the couple slime times we did... Uh one where we were just going around the level mm -hmm. on the walls and everything, and the other one was swimming through other goop and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at no point did they do the same thing but again. And in the same way, I want to say that Super Mario World kind of revolutionized platforming and how you control the character and the worlds you can go about and play and play again and explore in the stages. In the same way Super Mario World revolutionized that, I believe this has also done it. And it has done it in a level design capacity. They have given themselves the tools to make a wonderful variety of levels that go far beyond what you would expect out of a typical platforming experience, and then even given us the control to add more variety on top of that. Hmm. Speaking of... Like, for everything that they did, everything that they added, it is the level design and what they let themselves do with it that I think makes this that next Mario world. Yeah, speaking of control, I'd like to add on to that, that the entire time I was playing it originally, I never felt like any deaths I did were the game's fault. They were 100% my fault. Mm -hmm. Like, it was just that whole, like, oh, I messed up. That's my death. It wasn't the level. The level killed me for whatever reason. It was, I messed up. Yeah, and that's an important, that is a very important thing with the fairness of level design. If you can make something that's challenging but doesn't rely on cheap deaths or whatever. Like, if you're running along and a friggin' cheap cheap jumps out of the water under underneath you, you have .001 seconds to react to this thing before you auto-hop off of it, because you're above it, and it bounces you up into, like, a, a lava ceiling above you that kills you. That death wasn't your fault. And at no point does that feel like that was your fault. That was, like... Well, yeah, if you're going to send that cheap cheap up at me like that, I just die. I don't have control over that. That just killed me. And at no point, at no point did I feel like I was not in control of my own destiny in this game. If I died, it was because, oh, I missed that jump. Or somebody else had the crown for the level. Yeah. <laughs> it's, oh, I missed that jump. Oh, I wasn't fast enough getting through. Or sometimes it's even, like, I didn't read what to do fast enough. Like, I can see what to do now, but under pressure, I just didn't go, oh, right, I gotta get up there. 
or it is execution things. Sometimes it's, yeah, I died there because I hadn't wrapped my head around the controls yet. And a good example of that is the Jet Run badges. The, stage, oh, the yes, stages for that. that. Yeah. We would die several times on those, but every single death, it was always, I hit the wrong button because I have to remember how to use this badge. Yeah. And we die again. I hit the wrong button because I have to remember how to use this badge. And as soon as my brain changed gear to, this is how you control this, you just cruise through the level. I mean, until you, like, run into an enemy because you're dumb. Yeah. Um, the only stage I feel like that I got even the littlest bit frustrated with was this one right here. I knew you were going to bring up this one, and it was definitely one of those ones where it's like, yeah, this one was a little wonky. Well, I feel like I got a, I got a bit frustrated with this one, and I think I cut that out so you didn't actually see me get frustrated at it. You just saw the lives tick down like six lives or something. <laughs> um, but I think and I had even said as much in the video I believe that I am not comfortable enough in the with the controls to be able to play through this stage. Like I'm dying repeatedly and it feels like complete bullcrap when I do die but I'm giving the game the benefit of the doubt that I do not yet have the skill set to understand why I'm dying. Mm. And we, I mean, we beat it that time, and like, by the end of that, I was like, I think I'm getting there. And then when we went back to get this one, to do this one again, because we missed like the third. Yeah, that last the coin. Ten, the ten coin. Yeah. Coin. Um, when we went back to do that, it was like first try. I just cru cruised through that whole stage. Yeah. Like, by this point, it's, no, I've got it. I know how to control things. I know how to handle things. If I can say, I, I think the only other one was also the uh, special stage up here, but that's just because the stage is really long and there's no checkpoint. Oh, yeah. So, like, we die at the end and I'm like, why do I have to play through this whole stage again? And then, as it turns out, Drill is actually really good. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Yeah, really. Um, I think if there is any one thing that I would prefer, it's the camera for multiplayer. Yeah. I think that's been a complaint with everyone, is that the camera's one of those ones where it locks on the main character and then somebody just goes buzzing off and everyone's like, no, this is kind of annoying. It should have zoomed out Oops. a little bit. Yeah, like it... Well... it Yeah, it because it locks on the main character and if they get far enough away that you off, go off the edge of the screen, you're just dead. That's it. Sorry. You can't see what you're doing. I mean, you're not immediately dead. If you go far enough away, you bubble back. Yeah. But like, you might as well be dead because you can't tell what is going on at that point. And I feel like I would say I don't know if zooming out is an option because of the way the level design works and the way they lead into certain things or um, have you see certain things at certain times. I don't know if zooming out would ruin the, the level, like the level design, yeah. so to say. But, so I will say that, but I at least think instead of keeping the crown player always center, if you want something like that, at least scroll the camera a little bit back for the other player. You don't have to center the camera between the two players if you want to do something with the crown and, like, having a main character. Maybe go center the camera two-thirds between them. Or even three-quarters between them. So there's a little more focus on the crown, but, like, give me a little bit of leeway 
for, like, if you're not the crown character. And that invisibility badge is BS if you're not a crowned character, too. That's why I try to keep you as the crown the most, because <laughs> I was like, I've already beaten this game. He needs to... Like, if you're doing two-player, have give one of them the crown, and let the crown character just play through the stage. The other character, just don't die too much. Just try your best not to die, but don't worry about it too much. Oh, especially that second one, because you're bouncing, so you can't even use the dust clouds to tell where you were. Mm-hmm. But yeah, um, phenomenal game. Absolutely phenomenal game. Once again... Well, I shouldn't say once again, because I haven't said this yet. Um, my biggest complaint, though, is that there's not more game. I want more game. Well... And by that... I mean, not the thing that you're going to tell me about, because I don't want that. <laughs> I'm going to say, for one... Uh, where was it? Fungi yeah, Mines. Level. Fungi Mines needed more stages. I needed another hub and more stages at Wait, the end. did you go over one? World. Okay, go back. To left a couple times. The check marks are back for some reason. Oh. Well, nothing in Special World. But at least we got everything else. Even the Petal Islands! Um, yeah, no, yeah. Fungi Mines felt it was a little too short. It probably may have been one of those ones where they, were pro they may have had levels set up, but they had to cut them for time. Yeah, I feel like... Because, let's see here, World 1, World 2... World 3. I think World 3 was real interesting with the guy. Yeah, where you weren't even going for a Bowser Jr. Yeah. fight, you were going for the guy's training. Yeah. So, World 3, World 4, World I 5. I like World 4. World 5 needed another hub, is what it needed. It like, needed to like be you get down there where the end was, and you just get yeah, it the needed Wonder to be Seed. A, a level deeper. Yeah, like, they're needed... Instead of you get the Wonder Seed, give me, like, a hub, and then the final level after that hub. Like, four more levels or something in there. Because um, uh, Deep Magma Bog actually was pretty good. Yeah, Though deep, the end of it is more of those badge challenge things, so... Yeah, Deep Magma Bog was interesting. I feel like... I feel like what they did was interesting, where you had to use the the second barrier in order to go through the badge challenges and get to the special world. But I think what I would have preferred is what I originally thought, which was after you beat the castle and beat Bowser Jr. He just hops down to the next level. Maybe not. He just leaves. Or whatever. But... He, what he was doing, where, like, the place is going nuclear, almost, is still happening. And you have to go down there and solve that. Give me another boss fight. Doesn't have to be with Bowser Jr. Just go down there and there's a giant friggin' uh, blarg. I don't know. Just, a, just be a wonder effect, or whatever, that does something weird like that statue shot rocks at us. Doesn't even have to be a boss. Like, do something weird like that. And then once we do that, that resolves it. And then maybe after that, there's, like, a couple stages. Or, or like, a couple badge challenge stages leading to the special world. Um, and I only say that because I saw the 25 down there, and I'm like, there's stages down there, there's a 25 down there, there's bullcrap down there. There's no way it ends at Bowser Jr. And then it ended at Bowser Jr., so I was a little let down. <laughs> Um, so that's World 6. I feel like the game as a whole needed one more world. It needed a... This is World 6. It needed a World 7. Which I guess Petal Isles technically I'm is. I'm counting Petal seven. Isles as a world. <clears throat> like, if this was 7... If this was 6, we needed a 7, and which then... makes Petal Islands... 
Isles the Eight. Yeah. Like what we did going up to Bowser, that was fine. And I can count Petal Isles as eight in that regard. Yeah. But that still means this is six and this is seven. And the special world isn't a world. It's just a I mean, it thing. is. It, it's the special world. That's your post game area. That's your star world. And all that crap. That's your. your, uh. tubular. Yeah. I mean, technically, it's kind of star world and tubul tubular combined. Or Star World and Special World, technically. Yeah. It's kind of those two combined. But given the levels and what they unlock, it's kind of like... It's effectively your Special World. It's not Star World. Which makes Petal Isles closer to... Nah, I'll just count Petal Isles as World 8 still. But that still means we needed a World 7. Yeah, it felt like it was a little... Like, just give me one more world. How many worlds were in Super Mario World? I think eight. And star, and special. Hmm. I mean, I know there were 96 exits. I forget. I don't know what that relates to this game. Well, 96 exits really doesn't mean much, because there were some... Yeah, some had multiple exits. exits. So. But I think there were eight. There was one, two... Three, four, five, six. Was it seven? Was Bowser's Valley seven? Mm hmm. Because I know there's the Lost Woods, and then there's like Donut Plain, and then there's that bit before you entered Bowser's area, but I don't know what constitutes a world within Super Mario World. Yeah, well, there's there's Yoshi's Island, mm -hmm. then there's Donut Plains. No, it's not Donut Plains. Or is it Donut Plains? I think there's a Donut Plains. I don't Plains. know. Let's call it Donut Plains. Um, then there's the cave. Yeah. Then there's the area beyond the cave, which is like not even a world, it's like two stages. Is that the bridge? Yeah. Okay. But there's a castle. Uh, then there's the forest. Alright, yeah. The, the Koopa kids are in that one. Yeah. So yeah, that would make eight worlds because there had, there's seven Koopa kids and then there's Bowser. So Yeah, but you fought one of the Koopa kids in Bowser Valley. Yeah, so. So yeah, I, if there's seven Koopa kids then that would be seven worlds. Yeah. And then star and special. So I guess in that regard, it's the same. Because that's six, and then this is seven with Bowser at the end. Yeah. The only difference is that you got star and special, whereas here you only get special. I still want one more world. It does feel like it needs a little one more world. And I think that's because Petal Isles, because you kind of went touch and go through it, Petal Isles doesn't really feel like a world, even if it was. Yeah. Anyway, we have been talking at length. But those are our at-length thoughts. I like the game. It good. Go buy it. Have fun. Good game. Go buy. In fact, I personally, for my playthrough, I just, ra I just random sometimes. Yeah, just play somebody else. And the thing is, is that random doesn't hit into the Yoshis and everything, so they never count towards that. Oh. So you can literally just play as any of these characters and get through the game, because I never played as any of these as the Yoshis or Nabbit. Mm. In fact, that one time I played Nabbit was the only time I played any other character. Yeah, and, uh, and, that, same, one, and that one time you played Nabbit was the one time that I just cruised through that stage. Yeah. I remember you going, like, take the top route, I'll get it. Yeah. Or you could just do everything. So basically, just pick your just pick your favorite character, hit or hit random, or just pick a favorite character and then occasionally hit random, and you're perfectly fine. You could play, play through the whole game as Toadette. Nobody cares. Play through the whole game as Yellow Yoshi. Nobody cares. You're playing through it. Just pick your favorite and then just sometimes hit random. Yeah. Oh, and I'll, uh, I'll comment a little bit on these characters in just a minute, actually. And by in just a minute, I mean right now because we should be in it. Yeah, um, <laughs> I rained him and I got Luigi. <laughs> now by that I mean next time. Okay. So until then, everyone, 
We got one stage left. It's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a fun time.